guys, my name is Anette and I'm a full-time travel blogger and right now I'm stuck in Thailand due to the coronavirus travel restrictions. Um, so, as we all know right now, the coronavirus is taking over the daily lives of people everywhere in the world and that includes mine too. So, as I said, I'm a full-time travel blogger and uh, if I was here in Thailand in normal circumstances, I would be making uh, travel content, writing blog posts, maybe filming travel videos. But right now, I don't have that option because I'm stuck in my guest house, in my room, and that's pretty much it. I still want to be useful and give out some information. Therefore, I'm going to be making daily vlogs, but this time not about travel but more so about what it's like to be as a traveler, no, actually as a foreigner in a different country and for me even in a different continent and what it feels like being here during the coronavirus situation. So my aim really is to share with you what my daily life is here like and how it's affected with the whole virus situation and also what kind of problems I come across and how will I solve them because Let's be honest, I'm in a different country where I don't speak the language and how will I understand the news and stuff like that. Because right now, actually, the situation in Thailand is getting pretty serious. They are discovering new cases every day in a huge speed, actually. And if a week ago, Thailand was pretty stable in the situation and it felt pretty safe to be here, then now the situation is changing actually rapidly and it feels kind of uncomfortable, to be honest. And knowing very well that I'm not the only one in this kind of situation, that I'm not the only one that's stuck somewhere in a foreign country, I also wanted to make these videos in order to maybe help someone else to not feel alone and not feel so scared if they're somewhere in a different continent, maybe here in Asia and maybe even stuck in Thailand like me. So that's what this and the next few videos will be all about. So I'm sure you might have a question now, why am I in Thailand right now when everyone is leaving, when even the travel bloggers are going back to their home countries? Uh, the thing is that I'm a full-time traveler for three years now and that means I don't have a specific home where to return to and where to sit in the quarantine after I return. So of course I do have my home country Latvia where I go occasionally visiting my parents and friends and actually I did have a plan at this very moment to be there in Latvia but uh, the things didn't work out like that. A couple of months ago when the coronavirus started to take over Asia uh, I was actually located in Bali and to be honest, Bali felt uh, like a safe space at that moment because new cases were popping up in obviously China and all uh, the other Asian countries but not in Indonesia, not in Bali. So I felt safe. But thinking that I should be going back to Europe pretty soon, the next month, uh, didn't uh, make me feel easy because I was kind of scared that if I would be if I would be flying through different uh, airports and being on the airplane for a long time, what if I got what if I catch the virus and what if I bring it uh, back to my home country? Because obviously, when I would go there, I would have to go in the quarantine, and then if I'm staying at my mom's place or or anywhere. I'm risking to infect them and I didn't want that to happen so I started to think that maybe it's not the best idea to travel at that time to go back to Europe because I really really didn't want to bring the infection back to Europe and basically at that time I kind of already made the decision that I will be postponing my uh, Latvia trip uh, maybe a month later and go at the end of April or beginning of May but uh, well my mom kept pushing me and saying come on come on I want to see you well you know how moms are but uh, I was still worried because uh, well she's not not so young anymore and it's a risky age group she's in in case like I bring an infection there so I decided I will stay in Asia and actually just uh, I don't know even days later the situation started to change rapidly and we started to see that there are new cases popping up also in Europe and to be honest just a few weeks later it already felt much safer to be in Asia rather to go in Europe and be there. Uh, my time in Bali was coming to an end and uh, the next plan was to go to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and I remember I asked a friend who lives in Malaysia actually in Kuala Lumpur and she said that people are very well informed there, people are using hand sanitizers and everything feels safe and normal. So I actually felt confident going there and I wasn't scared at all. 
And when I landed in Kuala Lumpur, it was actually kind of surprising because when I was walking out on the streets, people were not wearing any masks. There were, of course, signs everywhere warning that uh, there is a virus and how to act in different situations. And I also saw hand sanitizers pretty much everywhere where I went. And that reassured me that uh, like people are taking precautions but it didn't feel that there is any infection going on in the society because life was just normal. So even though it felt safe being in Kuala Lumpur at that time, I was still feeling a little bit uneasy about the fact that there are so many people around. Like Kuala Lumpur is a very big city and if you go to a grocery store or you go in a metro or places like that, it's always crowded and people are standing quite close next to each other. And just knowing the fact that there is infection going around everywhere in Asia, I was thinking, what if it's also here and we just don't know about it? And in that sense, it felt kind of scary being there. So one evening, just like that, I got an idea in my head to check what's happening in Thailand at that time. And I saw that there are actually no new cases since the time when it started to get the first infections right after the breakout in China. And I was like, I will go to Chiang Mai, Thailand because in Chiang Mai it's so different. The streets are always way more empty and it's gonna be more quiet and maybe it will feel safer there. So two days later, I was on a plane to Chiang Mai. So when I arrived, I didn't see any restrictions and there were no stay at home warnings or anything, but that was up until a week ago when suddenly the government ordered to close all the public places where uh, like crowds of people are gathering. And that includes like uh, spas, massage places, uh, uh, fitness centers, cinemas, supermarkets, except the grocery stores. And then two days later, they even ordered to close all the cafes. And only the ones which are doing uh, takeouts and deliveries could, uh, could remain open. So right now in Chiang Mai, where I'm located, the only places that are still open are grocery stores and uh, food markets. And for me personally, I love shopping in the food markets because the food is always fresh, fresh fruit and veggie. But the problem is also that they are always crowded, uh, even in the morning, daytime, in the evening, there are also a lot of people there. But if you go to a supermarket, there are usually maybe just a few people around. So I think in this situation, it's much safer to choose the grocery stores instead of the markets. So. Actually, I'm seeing that the light is getting pretty bad and it's also getting uh, late. So I think I'm going to finish with this vlog today because there is already a lot of information and I'm going to continue tomorrow. But for now, I just want to say stay safe out there and be very careful about if you go outside, wear a mask, wash your hands and I'm going to be careful too. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.